all love seeing the women bodybuilders. Nothing, nothing better to fill a Saturday afternoon. No, we don't love seeing the women body. We like seeing women be women and men be men. But did you know that women can be deficient in testosterone and can create problems? And one of those problems can be fatigue? Do I have your attention? I'm Dr. Michael Berglund. Welcome to Common Sense of Medicine. Today's subject is why girls need testosterone too. Well, testosterone is high in men, but men also need progesterone and estrogen. We're just higher in testosterone than progesterone and estrogen. Women need more estrogen and progesterone and less testosterone, but they still need testosterone. The first thing we need to talk about is what does testosterone do? Testosterone is responsible for lean body mass. What that means is ligaments, muscles. Okay, it's responsible for making you strong, for making your ligaments and everything strong. It's for building healthy bone. That's testosterone. Testosterone is also needed for, how do you say it, sexual libido. Why are people interested in sex? Generally, testosterone. The other reason people need testosterone is because testosterone helps make blood cells. Men are hemoglobin is about 14, 15. Women averages between 12 and a half and 13 and a half. There's a difference there. The difference is because of, well, some of it's because women uh, have menstrual periods and they lose some blood during that time, but most of this is due to the fact that we men have testosterone. What testosterone provides is this energy. In the absence of testosterone, men, men can be apathetic and women can be apathetic. They can just be tired. They don't care about life. They just don't know why they're getting out of bed in the morning. But that sounds like you. Let's go a little further into this. So if you're a woman and you have a tendency to gain weight, you have a tendency toward fatigue, you have a low libido, and you don't heal from injuries very well, it's very possible that you might have a testosterone deficiency. How would you test that? One of the best ways to do that is something called the saliva test. That's sali saliva, that's spit. Yeah, you basically, strangely enough, you spit into a cup and you send it off to a lab. They'll tell you what your testosterone levels. Why do I have testosterone in my spit? Well, your spit's an overflow of what's in your bloodstream. As we have a certain amount of testosterone, estrogen, uh, adrenal hormones in our bloodstream, they spill over into other, uh, other body fluids, and one of those is saliva. Saliva can be a very accurate and effective way to manage and check testosterone levels. My name is Dr. Michael Berglund, and thank you for watching Common Sense Medicine. Thank you.